Welcome to another demonstration of Resolve. My name is Todd Blaze, and today I'm going to walk you through how Resolve can help ensure system availability for services that rely on X509 certificates. An X509 certificate is a digital document. It's similar to a driver's license, which is used to identify an entity and to associate that entity with a public key. These certificates are used in many internet protocols, uh, including TLS slash SSL, uh, but they're also used for other purposes, such as electronic signatures, code signing, and securing VPN connections, to name a few. When uh, certificates are expire, or if they've been revoked, they're no longer valid, and it will cause communication errors, which, as a result, will cause service outages. Uh, this is exactly what Microsoft experienced in February of, of 2020, when their team certificate expired and left users around the world unable to log into their services. Because of the potential impact of an expired certificate, uh, maintaining valid certificates should be considered a critical business process. Uh, and certificates issued by an internal certificate authority, such as Microsoft CA, uh, they're often managed with automatic renewals. Uh, but it's an option that needs to be enabled, and it's possible that configuration issues, like systems that don't have a group policy applied correctly, uh, could prevent the auto renewal from happening. And the end result in this case would be an expired certificate and subsequently a service outage. Uh, certificates that have been provided by a trusted third party CA, such as for websites and other external resources that don't have access to the enterprise PKI, the process can be more time consuming and error prone uh, since these renewals are often done manually. In the following demonstration, I'll illustrate how Resolve can automate the process of checking the expiration date of certificates. Then we'll orchestrate the change management process by creating change requests and change tasks so the certificates can be updated within your policy control environment. This will ensure that tracking, approvals, change compliance, and scheduling are adhered to in the renewal process. I'll start by discovering a list of assets, then assessing the expiration date of the certificates on those assets. We'll then orchestrate the change management process by creating the appropriate change requests and change tasks. It's key to know that this process can be performed manually by inputting a list of assets or on a scheduled reoccurring basis by querying a list or a CMDB for the targets. So first of all, let's take a look at what's involved in checking the status of certificates so that we know whether or not they're going to expire. Now, if you're working on Windows, there's a couple of ways to do this. Uh, one would be to basically open up the certificate uh, MMC and go and add in the uh, certificate manager and select you know, whether we wanted a user or computer or a service account. Uh, in this case, we'll just ch choose the local computer. And then once we have this, we can browse through the certificate store to see you know, what the status of uh, particular certificates are, when they expire and that sort of thing. Probably not the most efficient way uh, to, to do this, and in which case you could script something in to do in PowerShell, where uh, we're going to do the same thing, that, but in this case, recurse through the certificate store and uh, choose certificates that are going to expire in 365 days or less, in which case you can go through here, you can see the various certificates that are out here. From a Linux perspective, a little bit different. The first thing that we're going to need to know is you know, what certificates are actually on the machine. Right, so we can do a search for those certificates. And once we have a list, then we can go through here and see, maybe I want to check the uh, status of my RabbitMQ SSL uh, certificate here. So we'll use the open SSL to check the status of that, of that particular certificate. Uh, once we do that, we'll see that this one expires in uh, May 31st of 2026. Once we've identified what certificates need to be renewed, we would typically want to change those certificates through a proper change process, which means entering those certificates into the ITSM platform as a change request, assign a change a task, and then 
get the proper approvals to do that before you know updating the certificates. Now we're going to take a look at uh, using Resolve to check the expiration of certificates within the enterprise across multiple resources. And you'll see here that we've got two choices. We can check for the certificate expiration on um, internal resources or on, on external resources. So let's first take a look at the the internal resources. You have the option to specify a CIDR, a range list, or supply with a CSV list. In this case, I've, I've entered in uh, four resources here. I'm going to input the number of days that I want to limit the results for uh, the certificates to 150 days. And for this example, we're going to set our expiration days to critical where this is considered a critical situation, uh, we'll make it 50 days in this case. So all I need to do is hit the submit button and that will kick off the automation behind the scenes to go out and identify those systems, first of all, and then check for the certificates on those systems to see which certificates meet the criteria of 50 days or less until they expire. And in the list of uh, systems here, we also uh, discovered a Linux machine, and that has three certificates that meet that criteria uh, as being less than 150 days. Uh, since all of these systems expire exactly at 50 days from now, um, these are not considered critical at this point. So if we scroll down here, we'll see that uh, we found uh, those four systems, and on those systems, we found certificates that met the criteria of expiring in less than 150 days. And we'll notice that if we drill into, say for example, SE Desktop 3, we've got three certificates that are expiring in less than 50 days that we specified, which indicates that these are critical. And because these are critical, we've automatically generated a change request for these certificates to be addressed. And we've also created a second change request to address certificates that are expiring on a secondary system. And if we click into the, the link here to ServiceNow, we'll see that SE Demo 3 has certificates that are expiring in less than 50 days. And we've created that change request here, which is open. If we scroll down here, we'll see uh, that we've created uh, three different change tasks for the three different certificates that are expiring and that need to be uh, renewed. Now this was a check for certificates on internal resources. In the case of external services such as websites, we can click on the external uh, scan and we can put in a list of uh, URLs and similar criteria here, days to critical. I'm going to bump this one up to um, Let's go 110 days here before this is critical. And I'm gonna go ahead and click Submit here. So what this will do is it'll iterate through these URLs that have been input into the CSV list field up here. And it will go out and it will check the expiration date on these certificates and create change requests for the ones that meet the criteria of expiring in less than 110 days. And as you can see here, you can click into this Google certificate that's expiring in 66 days on 6-15-2020. We also collect some additional information and this can be expanded out to the type of information that needs to be pulled from those certificates. And you'll see that we've created change requests uh, to address the certificates that are expiring. In this case, um, the certificate for Google expires in 66 days. We've captured information about uh, you know, what, what the URL supports, what the subject is, who issued it, and some additional information here. To summarize, certificates are an important part of providing many business critical services that require secure communications. Maintaining current and valid certificates can be a time consuming process, which even for large enterprises like Microsoft, if done manually, can result in not knowing when a certificate is about to expire or has already expired which increases the risk of experiencing service outages. Resolve can help ensure system availability for services that rely on certificates by automating the tedious tasks of checking certificate expiration dates, 
and orchestrating the change management process. Just another example of how to enable the business by automating with Resolve, the game-changing solution that combines both AI ops and automation into one powerful platform.